there's a much better view of the side so you can see where it stops straight there I want that to creep up very light highlights I really like the rooted look so I'll just do very light highlights there so I split my hair up so that you can see how dark the bottom half of my hair is and that's the half that I want to brighten up just at the ends because the top half is really bright and I want it to match at the bottom. So using this little tiny hook, I'll come in and I'm going to avoid the very center holes. I'm going to go the closest thing to it is a little bit to the side. And I'm not going to get every hole. I'm only going to hit the blue circles so that it's very spaced out. And here towards the center, I'm going to do very thin amounts of tiny little bit of hair. I just want baby lights. So, let me continue. Okay, so since I part my hair on this side sometimes, right about here, down this line, I will want to pull out the blue circles. That's because I don't like my highlights to be super close to each other. Hold it down against your head. Sometimes you'll pull out just a little loop and you need to make sure you pull it all out because if you, if you bleach it like that, when you take this cap off, you're gonna have a weird little piece of blonde and the rest is going to be brown. So now that I've gotten this far up, to be able to see in the back, I'm going to use my hand mirror. And I'll look at my other bigger mirror. If you have friends helping you do this, whoa, that was a big chunk. Okay, first I'm going to go with this top because I do not need a big old fat highlight this thick. Here's what you're gonna do. There. I still have my front ones here. Okay, so you can see that I only did a tiny bit of the blue circles here. So you can see that I only got a little bit. And in this lighting, you can see where it starts to be very blonde. I pulled out a few near my the frame of my face. So then when I pull it back, I have a few little highlights where I didn't have any frame of my face before. Here's a good example of where a loop came out when I hooked it. So now I'm going through with my fingers. 
and making sure that the full strand of hair is out. Okay, so for this next part, right around my ears, as if you're going to put your hair in a half updo, separating the top half. the piece I'm going to do first because it takes longer to bleach your ends than it does to bleach your roots. It will grab a lot faster. After I emptied the entire powder lightener, you'll see that I'm only going to add a tiny little bit of this 40 volume. Okay, this is the technique I'm going to use for the bottom half. I never tease my hair. It's making me cringe. Okay, but I'm doing that to leave a little bit of my darker hairs up out of the way. Now I'll grab another section over to the other side. And starting at the top. to fold this over. That should hold it in place. So if you're starting here, instead of moving to this one, do the other part that's in the front because this is what's going to bleach. Start to lighten first. Front side. 
I'm turning it towards the back. I'm laying it on my glove. And I'm focusing on the bottom. Now I'm going to avoid where, where you can clearly see I have some highlights, but I'll brush this up. Turning this over again, concentrating on the bottom. Keep in mind the amount you have left that you're using for the top portion. Always make sure you have enough time to finish your project. Don't ever do this when you're in a rush and you need to go somewhere and do something, pick someone up. No, because you don't want to put this on hold. And if this is your first time ever doing something like this, just know that it can go really wrong. And you might end up not wanting to show your hair. And you really need this, you need to give it time to develop. Whilst it will turn orange, not blonde. So you need to give it that time. When it looks this white, that's how you know it's ready to be washed out. And the top looks like this. Okay. I'm going to take off the foils. And then I will wet my hair. And I will add plenty of conditioner and try to carefully pull this cap off very gently. So here's what it looks like with all the foil off. Yeah. 